What's the best way to flirt with a coworker and not embarrass yourself and actually potentially hook up with them? All right, I actually... <laughs> Right. And potentially, you'll actually. <laughs> I have three ways of doing this. And okay. one of them involves being more playful, one involves being more sexy, and one involves a little more depth and connection. Oh, I'm out. So, <laughs> on all three. We yeah. lost him at number three. Oh, no, number one, being more playful. Mm. Here's a nice one. If you've, you want to keep it fresh with someone that you've probably spent a lot of time with. Right. So, if you've got someone you've been sitting next to or across from for the last year, get a little role play going the moment they get there. Mm. Say, you work at my office, don't you? What was your name again? Uh, right? Jared. Jared. Oh, you look cute you tonight, You work at Subway? Jared. I never know. Yeah. <laughs> he works at Subway. <laughs> <laughs> he lives, Jared looks great. It's been 15 years. He's kept it off. <laughs> it's amazing. So, so, God, so, you, so you in, do... that, in that moment, you have this little role play where someone you know really well, you suddenly pretend you've never noticed before. Yeah, yeah. And it allows this fresh moment where you can go, well, you're kind of cute. I'm surprised I never noticed you before. So you can get a little more tension in there in a way that you can't if you go, hey, Jared, might, it was Might good they be you insulted yesterday. that you've never noticed yeah. them before? Like I would be so insulted, I would no, because you're gonna away. lay you're gonna lay the irony on thick. Okay, good. Right? Uh, right. If someone comes along that knows you both, uh -huh. you're gonna be like, oh, by the way, this is Jared. I never he worked at our offices. Yeah, yeah. Right. So you lay that on. The second way to do this is to be more sexy, and we do this through disqualification. Right. Now. Here's how this works. Everyone loves what they can't have or wants what they can't have and they like breaking rules. Right. So if you said to a guy that you had a bit of banter with, uh, it's, you know, it's such a good thing we're colleagues because you and me would be so much trouble for each other. Right, right. right? Now, I love that. Isn't that great? <laughs> That's a good so one. So now the person wants it That's a, a great lot more. Uh -huh. A lot more. And, you know, us men, we love breaking the rules. So the moment you say... We're colleagues, and the insinuation is we can't do way, even Even right. with people I don't work with, I'm going to say that. Uh, yeah, you should, right? <laughs> that's so good. I mean, that's a good you know, one for all I'm gonna, time. I'm going to sit down with other people. You know what? It's a, yeah. it's a really good thing that we work together because otherwise it would be trouble. <laughs> <laughs> and they're, they're going like, to go, I don't work with they're you. Gonna go, I don't work with you. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> And you are naughty for saying that. From now on, you're spending time with people you don't know when you go out. Leave right. your friends behind. Go talk to other people. So, Ellen, they, uh, literally, I'm going to get up. I'm going to go uh -huh. to dinner with you guys. I'm going to get up. I'm going to walk the other side of the restaurant yes. and sit down with total uh -huh. strangers. And that's where and I'm you're going to make a lot right. of new friends. And, Ellen, you have to be understanding yes. uh -huh. of that and not get angry. Yes. Okay. 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 Three. Thank you. Mm -hmm. have, She's have, always so upset. 